Citizen science projects are often created on the assumption that participation will contribute to science while educating and influencing the attitudes of individuals. Public participation dates back to as early as 1880, when lighthouse keepers started to collect data on bird strikes. Photographic census techniques have been used for several species over the past years, from the Maasai giraffes to mosquitoes in Australia. In South Africa, since 1988, photographs have been collected by tourists for the African Wild Dog Project in Kruger National Park, which is more or less continued on five-year intervals from uh, up until 2008. Cheetahs were added to the census from 1990. Only a few studies were done on the motivation of people participating in citizen science projects globally. Therefore, this study will focus on tourist motivations, knowledge and benefits to participate in such research projects, specifically in the Kruger National Park. The main aim of the study is to explore the value of citizen science in photographic census competitions, specifically for the wild dog and cheetah in Kruger National Park, for the participant, the project and conservation. The four objectives that have been identified are to conceptualize citizen science and summarize current knowledge about the contribution of citizen science in conservation. To determine what motivates tourists to participate in photographic competitions in Kruger National Park. To investigate the meaning of participation to the participant. And to determine the participant's knowledge on the basic ecology and conservation status of the wild dog and cheetah. An explanatory mixed method will be used in this study. The population of the study will consist of tourists that visit the Kruger National Park and participated in previous censuses. The participants will be sampled using a non-probability approach, which means that there is no predetermined number of participants. An online survey designed on SurveyMonkey will be distributed on various social media sites for Kruger National Park and EWT and participants identified from the survey will be approached for interviews. Descriptive statistics will be used to organize and summarize the quantitative data in a meaningful way, and the qualitative data will be transcribed and coded into specific themes. The expected outcomes of the study are that citizen science projects can increase public awareness and understanding of issues, enhance the engagement and interest of public, and might even influence the conservation attitudes and behaviors. Citizen science has the ability to expand research capacity while providing opportunities for participants to engage in conservation while improving science and environmental literacy. This study may help to determine the value of citizen science projects pertaining to conservation issues as well as the knowledge that people gain in the process. Understanding the volunteer motivations for participation from people with no specific training in research projects can help with the planning and implementing of other citizen science projects and will help project managers while gathering volunteers for successful project. While waiting for ethical approval, some preliminary observations have been done in the park. This consisted of watching the, the tourist walk by close enough to see the poster as well as the people. People do not take notice of the posters that have been placed in the campsite. Some would glance at it briefly and continue walking. In some of the camps, the researcher was standing at the poster, pointing it and showing it to a friend to try and attract people to look at the poster. Some of the tourists looked at it for a few seconds, then kept on walking, and other tourists commented that they might take part. So where to from here? Over the years, the census had to be effective enough for the organizations to continue the same project using the same methods. So if it's not this poster that attracts the tourists to participate, what else is there? This study will therefore endeavor to identify additional relevant means to gain a high degree and quality public participation. Simultaneously, management objectives of the Kruger National Park may be made by means of similar and improved citizen science projects. So thank you for your time.